Have you ever wondered why your guitar playing hasn't quite reached that pro level yet? Well, over the past 30 years of teaching people how to play the guitar, I've noticed five major mistakes they all make that hold them back. In today's video, I'm going to show you the same thing I've shown over 100 students to get to that pro level a lot faster. Let's check it out. The first big mistake I noticed my students making is hanging their thumb over the neck when they're learning their chords. Now, unless you're Jimi Hendrix or you're trying to play bass notes with your thumb, it's not a great idea. This restricts your movement and forces you to play on your palm. If you ever notice violin and cello players, they play on their fingertips, which gives them a lot more mobility and movement and they can play a lot faster. So make sure you pull your thumb back more to the back of the neck so that you're playing more on your fingertips. This also creates a nice space here so that the palm of your hand is not muting or touching the treble strings. The next big mistake I notice my students making is only picking down when learning how to pick. It's not bad, and it does work in certain types of music, but it can sound a lot better. You want to make sure you're picking up and down when learning how to pick. This gives you a more fluid sound, and it's way more pleasant to listen to. Another thing I notice that holds students back is jumping all over the neck when they're playing lines. It just doesn't sound great and you're wasting so much movement. You basically want to assign each finger to its own fret and play that way. It sounds more fluid and way better and you're wasting a lot less movement. Another major mistake students make is when they're playing finger style, they only play with two fingers. This is going to really limit your technique and hold you back from playing tons of great music. As I was saying in my last video, you want to make sure your thumb always plays the bottom three bass strings, your first finger always plays the G string, your second finger always plays the B string, and your third finger always plays the high E string. That way there's nothing you can't play. <laughs> Another thing that students do that holds them back from sounding pro is that they're just too rigid and stiff. They hold the pick super tight and they strum really hard. It's way too loud and too coarse. People just don't want to listen to that. Just loosen up, hold the pick lightly, and relax. Check out this video for more great guitar tips. See you in the next one.